Hello, I'm Alex, and the modality I chose for this project is bone densitometry. Bone density scan is a diagnostic radiologic exam used to measure bone mineral content and mass. This procedure is performed with an x-ray called a DEXA scan, which is a dual energy x-ray opsometry scanner. The scanner can detect the depletion of bone calcium and protein, which increases your bone fracture risk. It emits a very low amount of radiation, much less than the typical amount emitted during the chest x-ray. Here on the right side, we can see a picture of the bone densitometry machine that is used for the exams. This is a non-invasive quick procedure, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes per patient. During the scan, a large scanning arm will be passing over your body to measure bone density in the center of the skull. Here on the right side, you can see a picture of a patient laying on the bone densitometry machine with that large arm that moves across. And as the scanning arm is moving slowly over your body, a narrow beam of low-dose x-rays will be passing through the part of your body being examined. This scan compares bone density within the bone density expected for a young, healthy adult and a healthy adult of your own age, gender, and ethnicity. The difference between your measurement and that of a young Healthy adult is known as a T-score, and the difference between your measurement and that of someone of the same age is known as a Z-score, and these scores allow doctors to determine the depletion of bones and as they weaken uh, per patient. Bone density scans are very crucial because the test can alert you to problems within your bones before you may have a major fracture. It may help diagnose conditions such as osteoporosis before it becomes much worse, Early detection allows for physicians to treat patients in a timely manner. Conditions with the bones usually do not cause symptoms, and many times people often find out only when they break a bone unexpectedly. Fractures of the spine and hip can lead to chronic pain, deformity, depression, disability, and even death in some patients. Plus, half the people who break a hip never really regain the ability to walk again without major assistance, and a quarter uh, result in needing long-term care. Here on the right side, you can see uh, different bone dexometry scans. On the left, it shows bone density getting much weaker. And then on the right, it shows a uh, healthier bone. The career outlook for this field looks promising. With the hourly wage of $20 to $32 an hour, the qualification and skills that you need to become a bone density technology include a degree as a radiology technologist, and professional certification as a bone densitometry technologist. AART also certifies those who qualify, and you can also be trained on the job at certain facilities, so that's something that's good to look forward to if you apply for certain facilities to see if they offer that. In conclusion, with an increase on focus and preventative health, there is a rise in demand for bone densitometry testing. Choosing a career in bone densitometry is very important and is rewarding for technologists. One not only contributes to patients healing, but also works with this technology to help improve bone density and treat patients at early stages. Thank you.